Now I've been told about this incredible chap called David Evans who builds harpsichords in a workshop at the end of his garden. Now, I don't know very much about harpsichords. I did have the opportunity to play one whilst I was doing GCSE music, but that's, uh, well, it's a couple of years ago now. Um, I don't know anything about the building process or the skills required, so this is my opportunity to find out more. With a thirst for knowledge and all things Baroque, I tiptoed through the tulips to find out what was happening at the end of the garden. Hello David, I'm Simon. <laughs> really <laughs> lovely to meet you. Wow, this is uh, quite something. This is absolutely remarkable. Um, can you tell me a little bit about how you get started on a project like this? Yes, well, the, the first thing I have to have is an, an order or a commission. Oh, right, they're all uh, for specific I, I make, customers. Yes, I make um, instruments for uh, professional players. It's absolutely beautiful. How do you, how do you go about getting the, the curves in, well, the, in, the, in the wall? Yes. Is it a steam bend process that you use? There or? are a number of ways. Um, the old makers um, used to soak them for a very long time and then bend them over a frame to dry out. Right. Uh, they used to soak them and then hold them over a fire till the wood became pliable right. and then bend it over a frame or even nail it on when it was still oh, really? pliable. Um, and in fact, in the Low Countries, in Holland, this part of the instrument, if you get through the paint, in, which has been done in restorations and so on, you find the wood is charred from being held over the fire and they're just taken off the loose charcoal right. and painted over the top. One of those works perfectly well. One of those jobs that you don't want yes. to uh, walk away from whilst it's uh, uh, going. <laughs> they're also often, if there's no charcoal, they're often thinner here. Right. Which was, it was thought that that was some technique for improving the sound, but no, it's not. It's where the charcoal was scraped. <laughs> <laughs> so we were caught out on that one. This is the keyboard. Oh, wow. It has a frame of poplar. Right. And on that frame, there's a plate of lime wood, which is very stable and cuts very nicely. Well, David, thank you very so much indeed. It's been extremely interesting. Okay. Thank you so much.